My name is Stephen Hill and I currently work in the suspension department at Pro Circuit underneath Bones Bacon. And uh, today we have a test bike that we have set up for specifically Brock Bennett. Uh, it has been dialed in for his weight and his specific skill level. So even as it sits right now, um, he actually has the stock springs that come with it. What we go ahead and do then is also modify the stock valving that comes in the suspension, which is highly critical to function with the springs and with his skill level. Well, as, as this bike sits stock, um, it is limited, especially coming with the forks. We currently add our Pro Circuit fork caps that actually add a full range of rebound control. Also coming with any bike, you have your compression. Um, going in internally and modifying it to be exactly what it needs to, for whatever the rider needs it to be. Rather than having a fixed rebound, it has a full range with the clicker itself, allowing within about 24 clicks, I want to say, um, of adjustability in each way. The nice thing about these bikes, and the nice thing for us working on them for so long, is we know them very, very well. So it does not take a lot to actually make it rideable and enjoyable. Everything from getting your suspension revalved and resprung, and adding the Pro Circuit link arms that we have on here, helps stable the bike and make it more of a comfortable ride. My name is Craig Bill. I'm actually I just work in uh, in the service department at Pro Circuit now, just building engines, pretty much just um, building engines for. Uh, team green and just uh, custom engines and the, the, the bike that I have here is, is just a, a KX85 mod. For the 85 mod we're only allowed to uh, do cylinder work of uh, porting and uh, polishing and also head, um, head work which we just um, adjust for the fuel and the fuel that runs the best in these bikes is, is uh, MRX02 and also Pro Circuit, um, they, have, they have a modified uh, short carburetor which, which runs really well on these little bikes and obviously apart from that you know the biggest thing to do is just uh, keep them fresh all the time and obviously a brand new bike we split the, we split the engine make sure everything's good tight and um, just um, get all the specs all, all perfect before it goes out onto the track and, and like I say it's, it's just a matter of uh, putting new piston and rings every, every, every week or so. The bottom end on the KX85 felt really good when you would uh, come out and hit the clutch it would really just pull and you didn't really have to shift much it ain't, you don't shift like three times real quick it pulled and it had long gears. The Pro Circuit 85 turns real well. It likes the, it connects real well with the corner. It feels super good right on the bottom. It hits real well and has a lot of power. The suspension changes I would make probably very little. It really soaks it up. I'd probably just go a hair bit softer, but for the most part, it was very well and it was set up suited for me. And it soaks up a lot of the bumps coming in. Overall, this Kawasaki 85 was a great bike. The only thing I would change was the back brakes. It didn't seem like they would lock up great enough, but it still was great and overall.